What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Y Egglock. In the last episode we started our challenge against the Elite Four, defeating the first two Elite Four members, um, Dragar, I don't know what her name was, the Dragon Type 1 and also the Fire Type user Mulva. Both um, fairly easy, we lost our Greninja to the first one, the Dragon Type Master, because obviously we were just trying to use Greninja to sweep through the whole team, but it couldn't take out Drilling in one hit, unfortunately. Um, and that thing then used Revenge on it, because we were using an Ice Type move of Protean, didn't go down nicely. So, but we still have the five of our members, Sadie, Abyss, Sordette, Ty, and Napion. I think we're going to challenge the Water Type user next, because um, we definitely need Sadie for that. So I don't want to go for the Steel Type user, lose Sadie, and then be stuck for the Water Type user, if you get what I mean. So we shall go down to the Water Type user, and we shall challenge them to a battle. Obviously we're using Mega Manetric here rather than anyone else. I want to start off with Mega Manetric too, so I have a, a sort of clean switch to it. So I don't want to you know, have to switch in on a move, because we're playing set, remember guys, which is a problem. If I was playing shift, it'd probably be much easier. We probably wouldn't have had certain deaths. Um, but what can you do? This is the water chamber indeed, and it's going to get flooded any second now. And we're going to challenge Seabold, the Elite Force Seabold, to a battle, and we'll see if we win. Uh, it's been going fairly well, you know, we haven't lost, um, the fire type user were a bit challenging because of the fact that it had Noble Roar, and we were using Typhlosion, and, um, you know, well, I think my Manetric couldn't even take one, couldn't even take more than one Flamethrower from the original, was it Pyro? I'm pretty sure it was Pyro, yeah, Pyro. Um, so it was just obviously a problem, so, but we sh I don't know, we should be right here. I can't remember what water types he has. Um, I can't remember if he has a water ground type. If he does, that's going to be annoying for us because obviously we won't be able to use Sadie against them. But hopefully he should be alright. No, I simply can't say. You there, young man. I have a question I must pose to you. Do you think Pokemon battling can ever be, wor can ever be worthy of being called an art? Of course it can. Indeed. You see, cooking is a type of art that disappears as soon as it is completed. Pokemon battles are the same. Even memories of sweet victory soon fade after the battle ends. To devote yourself entirely to such a life, made up of fleeting experiences, that is truly artful. Indeed. Okay. Let's do it. Versus Elite Force Seabold. Is it Seabold or Seabold? I don't know, one of those. He starts off with Clawitza, so that should be fairly easy to take out, because Clawitza is not that bulky. It's got Mega Launcher, as we know, but we should be able to take an attack from it. Four, 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 four Pokemon here. Clawitza. Um, no idea what else. More Pokemon, let's say. Right, we go straight for the Mega Evolution, we should be fast because Mega Manetric is pretty damn fast. And we'll go for the Thunderbolt straight off the bat. And we'll just, yeah, get things rolling. Mega Evolve indeed. Sadie, let's do it. Sadie will be quite helpful for the Steel type Elite Form Member 2 because a Flamethrower as well, so that's good. Intimidate's not going to help because Clutch is a special attacker. Thunderbolt's going to go off. How much damage is it going to do? It's going to do a clean... Ooh. Night each Oh, so close. Okay. Water Pulse. We're going to be able to not take that well. He's going to heal up, so I'm going to heal up as well. Um, there's no point in going for a quick attack, you see, because there's just, just there's no point. <laughs> it's our last Hyper Potion, but obviously we have four stores anyway, so I'm going to heal up. He's going to heal up. We're all going to be very happy. Hopefully, I don't know. Obviously, I'm not particularly happy because I didn't manage to take it out on one. Hopefully, that was like a low damage calc, and then the next Thunder what we use will be a high damage calc, so we can actually take him out in the one turn. But I doubt it, because that's just how the game rolls. Uh, oh, no, we don't go out. Yes, okay, good, good, okay. So it was good. It was good, guys. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. And I'm on four health points too, which is nice. Out comes Gyarados. Gyarados is just going down in one. We're going to be fast in this thing. Intimidate's not going to matter, because we're a special attacker. He's like, he's like freaking um, thingy. What's his name? Um, Lissandra sent out Gyarados against the fucking electric type. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? I have no idea what his other two Pokemon are, so... Barbarical, okay, this thing can probably take an attack, but I'm not sure. If it has Earthquake, that's a problem, but... We'll go for the Thunderbolt, we should be faster. Um, I don't know how defensive this thing is, you see. It seems to be, yeah, pretty defensive. It's got Stone Edge, not Earthquake, so we should be able to survive a Stone Edge. Oh, it does get stabbed from it, though, but we did take it pretty well. So I'm going to finish him off with a Thunderbolt. He might heal up again, yeah, they did heal up again. But the Thunderbolt here should then just get down to the same amount of health points. And obviously we're faster, so it's all good. Hopefully. This is gonna... Yep. Didn't do as much damage, but there's the Paralysis, which is nice. I might actually take the opportunity here to heal up. Because um, I want Sadie to be in you know, full capacity. I'm gonna use a Max Potion rather than a Full Restore, just because. Just because, guys. Hopefully they get paralyzed here and not able to use an attack. Because that would be nice, because then we'd be able to be on full health points. Stone Edge. They did manage to get the Stone Edge off. And that's going to do, you know, same amount of damage, but it's down to there. I'm going to Forest Door up again. Um, 
and just wait for them to either miss a stone edge or be paralysed and then just take them out and have full health points to deal with the last Pokemon because I don't want to, you know, deal with them now and then find out the last Pokemon is a really bulky Pokemon and I'm not going to be able to take it out in two or three hits or I don't know. You guys get what I mean. Hit the stone edge again, third time. Brilliant. Okay, so it's only got two PP left, so it's not too bad. <laughs> um, we can just stall out until this moment. We have enough four stores, so yeah. Some of you guys might not like me for stalling out, but we're doing what we have to to survive, guys. We're doing what we have to to survive. Razor Shell. Okay, interesting. That's obviously a water type move. Again, it's going to do less than half. Okay, I'm just going to hold out for paralysis and just keep keep doing this until we get the paralysis off. Because, ah, oh, I really... Uh, okay, I'll see if he, was, if he wasn't paralysed, I wouldn't be doing this, you see. But I want him to get paralysed. Oh my god. Okay. Why can't you just miss a Stone Edge either as well? Because that thing's got terrible accuracy. Well, not terrible accuracy, but not brilliant accuracy. Not perfect accuracy, one of those. Okay, we'll heal up again. Stone Edge hit his last Stone Edge. Five Stone Edges all hit. Brilliant. And then in, the, in Wi Fi, I can't even hit one. <laughs> That's just the way it works, it would seem. So he's going to have to use Razor Shower now or another move. Um, and that does less than half, I'm pretty sure. We did last time, so. Razor Shower. He still hasn't been paralyzed, so I think fuck it after this. I'm just going to go straight for the attack and screw him. Screw him. I don't care anymore. Bye. If I went for Flamethrower then instead, accidentally misclicked, he'd be like, oh, fuck me. God damn. <laughs> God damn. Okay. And what's going on next? Starmie. Okay. Well, Starmie isn't all that bulky, so I'm just going to go straight for the Thunderbolt here. We should be faster. We are faster. And this thing is going to go down in one attack. Okay, so it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't too much we were at in the first place. I mean, we were going to win this match, whatever. Um, even if we didn't stall up, we were just going to win the match because we could just go straight for the Thunderbolt through it, which isn't too bad. Um, it was a nice, simple match, this one. At least we did lose Sadie, so we have it for the Steel-type user as well, and obviously for the champion too. That would be quite helpful there. Um, so yeah, let's see. Devote yourself entirely so that even that which even that which will fade and disappear is engraved forever upon your heart and mind. That is the only fate for any human. There is only one course remaining in your Pokemon League banquet. Bank banquet banquet. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> I don't know. Devour of the hunger for strength. Savor about leaving a scrap behind. I will indeed. Thank you for the, the kind words if you call them that, I don't know. Okay. Let's pop here. Use the forest door. Or a forest door rather. 20 left, we should be fine. Okay, and, um... Who do I want? It's tricky, because do I use Mega Lucario, or do I use Mega Manetric for the uh, Steel types? I think I'm going to use Mega Manetric, because generally Steel types more, tend to be more physically bulky, so I don't really want to be using a physical attacker um, as much. I'm going to start off my challenge against a Steel type user with Ty. I know they start off with Klefki, which is a problem. Um, so, wait, does Klefki have Swagger? It might have, if it has, I can't remember if it has Swagger or not. If it has Swagger, I might want to start off with someone like Swordette. Um, or a physical attacker, so I can actually just do some damage to them. Or Abyss, maybe. Um, I'll start off with Abyss, because Clefie's not going to have anything against Abyss, so we should be fine on that on that count. It really pisses me off. This is the centre of the room here, or the centre of this end, but it's not the centre of this door. It really pisses me off when that, that happens. Really annoys me. I don't know why, it just does. <laughs> he's got Clefki, he's got... Um... What does he have? Clefki... I'm just trying to think how steel types to introduce this generation. There's not many, to be honest. He isn't going to do so that's good. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know what else he's got. Can't remember at all. Bastiodon comes to mind, but I don't think he's got Bastiodon. Because that's not available in the National Decks, for the, in the Chaos Decks, rather. Hello, I've forgotten his name as well. I shall see and find out in a minute, won't I? Got his arm. Why has he got fucking armor on? It's just. Uh... Well met, young challenger. Verily, I am the Need Force famed blade of hardened steel, Wickstrom. With my magnific magnificent Pokemon at my side, I will reveal the scope of trillion achievement. Let's both give our word that our contest shall be fair and honorable. Ready? Honorable. <laughs> on guard! See, on guard's not really something that you would say for a, a, a sort of thing to him, because he's not exactly like a fencer. He's a freaking. Okay. Let's do it, Wickstrom. You're going to start off with Klefki. If this thing's got Swagger, this is why I want Lucario out here. Because I don't want to Swagger a uh, Typhlosion, because that's not very helpful. Because it's a special attacker, at least with the Fire type. So we're out here. We're holding a Black Belt, which is going to power out close combat. But I don't want to necessarily use that straight away. I might go for the Bullet Punch to get, I think, super effective damage off, which is nice. Nope, not super effective, just damage. Uh, oh dear. It's got Dazzling Gleam, which is going to do neutral, which is... Oh my god, I did quite a lot. Um, I can't use the Daring Pulse, can't use Extreme Speed because that's resisted, so I guess Bullet Punch again. I guess Bullet Punch again. Slowly working down his health points, that was a critical hit that time. We might have to switch out and or... No! For f 
feck's sake, come on. That's just gay. Fucking hell. Okay, we have a, we have a free, free switch here. I think I'm going to tie because tie is going to be able to take it out from where it is. And a flamethrower will definitely take it out from where it is. It might get, then go for its prankster ability and use some sort of move there. Well, we have eruption. Um, I'm going to go for flamethrower because I don't want to waste an eruption PP because we're just going to take it out straight from show it here. Uh, we can use eruption next turn because I, I, I don't know if he was going to do some sort of you know, swagger or whatever. So, But we level up to 62 which is going to be helpful as well. Hopefully Ty is fast enough to just sweep through this guy with uh, eruption all the time. Probo pass is going to... Ah, it's neutral though. This is when um fucking... Having Lucario would be helpful. Hmm. Uh, we can get a Swordette, I guess. Because it's got uh, Iron Head, which is going to do super effective damage. Or no, do normal damage, actually. But I don't think this thing's got Earthquake. Um, so it would be a good switch. Because this thing's probably going to have a Rock-type move now. I'm going to get a Swordette. I'm going to Swordette. We'll see. I don't want to switch ty Stay Tired, because they're probably going to go for Stone Edge or something. And Ty can't really do much damage to them. Power Gem, Stone Edge is the same thing. We're going to resist this. Like a boss, so I guess we're just going to go for the, the swords dancing up. I could give King Shield this turn might be a more uh, better choice just to scout out what they're going to do. Earth power, oh for fuck's sake! Okay, we still took that pretty well though. We can take another of those um, before we have to heal up. So I'm going to swords dance again, heal up, then probably go for an Iron Head and see how much that does, or maybe the swords dance three times just to you know set up and then possibly sweep through. Too bad we got rid of Sacred Sword because that'd be helpful here. Good thing we didn't get the critical hit there, because that would have been fucking annoying. Oh, I'm so pissed off that critical hit, though. My Lucara was taken out by a freaking Klefki. Oh, so annoying. Oh, well. I don't think Close Combat would really... Close Combat probably done half damage, if that. Um, if I'd used it, so that really sucks. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for one more Swords Dance here. And then we'll see what we can do. Trouble is, because we're faster, we can't exactly go for an attack. Um, and then, sort of, Shadow Seat to turn after. Because we can, we'll attack, we're going to attack form, and then we'll just take an earth power in attacking form, and that will absolutely destroy us. So, we can't even do that. Um, so, I guess we have to go for the iron head and go for the one hit kill. We saw this dance three times, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, yeah, three times. So, we should be able to take it out. We should be able to sweep through anything here. Earth power is going to do some more damage again, but we can take that. We can take that, guys. Time for the iron head. We have king shield, which is nice. Um, means that we can actually use king shield next turn to sort of get back into defensive form rather than being in offensive form in, in case we're slower. This is going to do a clean, sturdy, no, fuck! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, that one! Praise Lord Arceus! Praise Lord Arceus! Oh my god, thank you! He's probably going to heal up though, um, so I'm going to have to Shadow Sneak. Yeah, there's the heal up. I can go for Shadow Sneak to get rid of the sturdy, and then I can go for the Iron Head the next turn. Shadow Sneak might even do over half damage, so let us see. Yep, it's doing over half damage, so I'm just going to go for another Shadow Sneaker. Another Forest Orb, fair enough, it's fine with me. We're a plus six attack, we can just do what we can just do this for hours, Wickstrong, if we want. We can do it for hours, we have enough PP to last you out. So, let's until we get a crit, and then just, yeah, wipe him out there. <laughs> Shadow Sneak again is then going to take him out. I've no idea what they got left. We have Klefki and Pro Pass have gone. Um, I can't remember any other Steel types in Generation 6, though, that you might have. Um, oh, I have no idea. Oh, Aegis Slash, of course. Fucking Aegis Slash. Sizor, though. Okay, Sizor. Um, I'm going to King Shield. Just to see if they can get that. We're going to attack drop on them. Uh, if they go for a, a, a touching move, rather. They go for. Um, yeah, King Shield, sorry. That's going to go off there. Night Slash is going to be. Okay, yep. Yeah, and there we are. Their attack is harshly falling there. That's so going to do even less damage. Um, we can't Sword Stance again because we're at maximum sort of attacking there. Battle items. We have a dire hit, which is not very helpful. So I was looking for it to see if we had an X attack, but even though I don't, no, I don't think that works anyway. Um, so we managed to take a Pro Pass down in two Shadow Sneaks. So we should be able to take this thing out in two Shadow Sneaks, shouldn't we? Iron Head is not going to be very effective, so we're going to go for the Shadow Sneak here. We're going to be faster. Get the stance change. Come on, Shadow Sneak, go for it. His last Pokemon is indeed Age Slash, but we can probably just take it out of a Shadow Sneak. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, it's gone on one. Whew, I was really worried about that. I'm not t killing in there. Okay, Aegis Slash is going to come out, I'm going to King Shield against this thing, see if we can get an attack drop, and see if we can force this thing to get into um, attacking mode so we can hit it with a move, but I'm not sure. Aegis Slash v Aegis Slash, this is going to be a very tense match guys, because we both can have King Shield. We both know he's going for attacking move, okay, Shadow Sneak next turn, you're screwed. 
Shadow Claw, attack is going to drop. Thank you. Which means his defense is going to drop as well when he goes back into um, thingy, 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 thingy. I don't know. Shadow Sneak, he's going to King Shield now. Okay, that's the annoying thing, so I can't actually get that. So my attack is going to drop now to a plus four. But I think, you know, a plus, um, a plus four is still going to take him out. So, and we, I don't know if we're faster or not, see, because they're level 63, we're level 61. They're level 65, actually. Shit. Okay. Trouble is, I'm using King Shield when he's attacking. Uh, he's using King Shield when I'm attacking, so it's, it's a stalemate. Um, he's probably going to go for the Shadow Claw again. He has Shadow Claw, I only have Shadow Sneak, you see. So, I might go for a Swords Dance next turn. His attack is going to go down again, which means we can definitely survive another move from it. So, I'm going to go for a Swords Dance. This is going to sort of... Oh, okay, he's going for Shadow Claw now. No, 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 no! Ah! Fuck's sake! Critical Hits again! My lord, he's... Uh, he was a minus four. Okay. This is pissing me off now. I guess we're going to go to Ty, because Ty has Eruption, and that's more powerful than Flamethrower. Plus, he gets stabbed from it. Um, so, yeah, he's a minus four attack, though. He can't do anything. Surely. Fucking hell. Eruption. He's going to go for the King Shield, as predicted. Because that's what they were gonna do. Why didn't you go for King Shield last turn? Because then that would have been fine. Because we would have Swords danced again. Then we could have Shadow Sneak when you can't use King Shield. And we would have taken you out in one. You absolute twat. Right, Eruption should just destroy this thing. Since it's got minus four defense as well as minus four attack. Please, thank you. Because obviously attack is linked to defense. So when its attack drops, its defense drops as well when it changes back into its other mode. So we fucking lost Age Slash, which pissed me off. And freaking Lucario in that battle. Ah, oh, okay, okay. What now? My sweet glorious pain and what sweet glorious pain and joy that now rock my mighty heart? My will, which even Shakespeare's trembles at so fine a battle as this. I am undone. Good sir, you are indeed our equal and wafty, waft, waft, worthy to enter this lofty hall. The time has come at last for your greatest challenge. Now show our champion the same strength you have shown us. The trouble is we have three Pokemon left against the champion with six, I'm pretty sure. She has six. We have a Mega Gardevoir. So, this is going to be fun. Um, the doors are going to open. Hello, doors. Okay. I'm going to heal up. I'm not battling her this episode. I'm going to battle her next episode. Okay, no one needs healing up. Uh, have we got any Lapa Berries? Lapa Berries. We have one. Uh, who's used? I don't know. Okay, I need to look at the PP first before I decide which one to use. Oh, I'm really pissed off though about that Age Slash. Fuck's sake. Really annoyed me now. Yeah, so we're fine there. We've got three eruptions left, so that should be alright. Six Thunderbolts. I wanna, yeah, restore Thunderbolts there. Last resorts, we should be fine. Bites, maybe. Okay. I might. Ugh, do I teach fucking Nappy on Toxic or not? Is the. Is the ugh. Okay, um, Leopard Berry on Thunderbolts. Then I've also got, obviously, move things in here that will restore them. I'm going to use one of these on Eruption, just because may as well. One of these on Bite. One of these on Protect. One of these on Wish. One of these on Last Resort. we got some Max Ethers too. Max uh, Elixirs too as well. Um, but I don't think it's needed, really. So, okay. So, we lost another two Pokemon this episode, which has really pissed me off. I don't know who we're going to start off with. Who did she start off with? Hulucha, is it? Did she start off with Hulucha? I'm going to have to check out and find out. Because I, I need help with this battle, guys. <laughs> we're not going to win otherwise. We're like six levels under level as well. Okay. So I guess um, I will see you next time, guys. When we'll try and defeat the champion. I doubt it's going to happen. Um, but we can always try, guys. We can always try. So thanks for watching today's episode. Leave a comment down below telling me... Did you like the typing of the elite, the four elite four members in this, uh, in this um, region, like the steel, the fire, the uh, water, and the uh, dragon, or do you think there should be like a poison or something else? Just tell me. Let me know anything in the comment section. And I guess I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends.